guy's a very funny comedian. His new album, I Did It, is available on iTunes. What you do is you, you click onto the iTunes and this comes out of your computer. That's right, yeah. It comes right out. <laughs> I'm old. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Please welcome the hilarious Ted Alexander, everybody. Ted Alexander. Wow, you guys are very nice. I appreciate that. I am 45 years old. Not... <laughs> Wait till you hear the rest. Not old, but kind of old. I feel like I'm retired from trying to be young. Got like five dead Facebook friends. That number's only gonna go up. It's weird, it's uncomfortable, you know, I don't know whether to unfriend them or block them, like Facebook doesn't tell you. They just kind of hang around forever, <laughs> not liking anything. <laughs> get out, if you ain't gonna like, get out. <laughs> when you get to be in your 40s, uh, friends like to play matchmaker uh, based on nothing, you know? <laughs> you go to weddings, they want to pair you up. They'll be like, have you met Sheila? She's alive. <laughs> I really think you guys have a shot. And I'm not, I'm not anti-love, I'm not anti-marriage, obviously, I think it's beautiful. But I think real love is hard. Like, real commitment is work. Real love is like clocking in. Like, <laughs> all right, time to love. <laughs> it's hard, it's work. You know, you go to weddings and you hear the vows. And they're beautiful words, but we hear them so often that it's just it's by rote. It doesn't even process, right? For better or for worse, richer or poorer, I pledge allegiance to the flag. <laughs> just words, but those are heavy words. For better or for worse, it's like, how much worse? <laughs> in sickness and in health, there's a lot of sicknesses. There's just one health. I don't like those odds. And even the word vow, right? That's kind of a heavy word. We don't really use that in everyday language. Do you vow? But only 50% of marriages work out, so that should be what vow means, like 50-50. <laughs> it's like, hey, man, you're going to be at the party on Saturday? Oh, I don't know. I vow to. All right, well, hopefully we'll see you there. I'll put you down as a maybe. I find it odd, too, that that's the one relationship that we have to vow to be with that person forever, with your partner. That doesn't happen with other relationships, like with your friends. You don't vow, like, I'm going to only be your friend, and you'll only be my friend, and we'll only be friends forever. <laughs> I have friends that I haven't seen in, like, eight years. You just fall out of each other's lives, but then you see each other, it's great, you catch up, and then you move on again. That's how marriage should be. <laughs> It's like, hey, man, you know who I ran into? My wife. <laughs> so nice to catch up with her. I saw her at the frozen yogurt shop. <laughs> I've been peeing sitting down a lot lately. <laughs> That's where I'm at in life. It feels good. I'm ready to begin that phase. Because, you know, I'll let the young guys stand. <laughs> They've still got hopes and dreams, plans. Not me. Guys my age, when you get to be 45 or older, you know, any opportunity to sit, you're going to take it. <laughs> and they still have, like, a strong flow, too. Cherish that. <laughs> Cherish it. Does not last forever. I've got a spotty flow. I'm like an old rapper. <laughs> my flow, my flow is not what it used to be. It's a lot of, uh, uh, <laughs> what, what? <laughs> Make some noise. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Yeah, no, come on, man. Hey, Ted! <laughs>
Hey, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, You too. look great. You don't look Thank like you. City Down P at all. You look fine. It's all an illusion, man. I haven't seen you for, oh, since I last saw you in New York. You were one of them comedy clubs. Yeah, we ran into each other. Yeah. At the well, I came to see you. I came yes. to see you because I'm right. your friend. I vowed to be your friend. and I, We did exchange vows. I, I came to see you. Where was it? The Comedy Cellar? Comedy Cellar. That's a great club, isn't it? One of the best. Whoa, it's, I love it's it like there. proper club downstairs. and Yeah, you have to go people. downstairs. It's, uh, it's why this is called a cellar, That's, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Works out that way. How are things? We used to go on the road together. We did. Yeah, we you did. Don't, you don't and call I, me anymore. Well, I like a little distance, as I said. You know. Yeah. Like, the, I think you have a fear of commitment. It could be, but when we, then when we see each other, it's special, right? Not that kind of special, is <laughs> no. A certain kind of special. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that that's very special this is, indeed. Yeah. yeah. That's what I want to get. To. No, no, Ted. <laughs> no, no. no uh, keep it there. I don't think so. Hey, uh, what about the Teachers Lounge show? You Teachers did? That's Lounge. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Teachers Lounge is a web series that I did with. Uh, You're a YouTube sensation. I'm a sensation. Yeah. It was, it was bound to happen. Yeah, I co-created this web series. I used to be an elementary school uh, music teacher in New York City for five years. I know. When I first started out, uh, so. With my buddy Hollis James, we co-created this web series called Teacher's Lounge, where I play the music teacher, Hollis plays the janitor, and we just hang out in the teacher's lounge, and then every episode, a different comedian come on, comes on playing a faculty member. Yeah. So we got Jim Gaffigan as the nutritionist, uh, Louis Black as the principal, <laughs> uh, Judy Gold is the gym teacher, yeah. uh, David Tell is the school photographer, <laughs> Todd Yeah, that's, that's what you want. David Tell is your school photographer. <laughs> Gets a little creepy. Yeah, but, oh, yeah, no, so it's great. funny though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I could do something on it, man. I could be like this Scottish exchange teacher. We would love to have you. We would love to have you. Is that even a thing? Does that happen? We can make that happen. This school is very loose in its parameters. Yeah, so I, think, I, yeah. I I could tell when you made Dave the school photographer. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, so. it's a loose thing. Are you you don't uh, go near children anymore, do you? What do you mean by go near children? <laughs> Well, I, I, I enjoy children. As a male teacher, you're very aware of like, oh, what's sure, appropriate. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like, I remember this kid grabbing my hand one time uh, during recess and saying, Mr. Alexandro, I like you. I was like, get away from me. I don't ever want to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> I need this yeah, job. Yeah, it'd be a tough job. You've got to be very, you know, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. have to kind of... See, when I, was, when I went to school, when, you know, my elementary school, they would hit us. You know, Is that right? Yeah, they would hit us with uh, leather belts, especially but, made for the purpose. You seem like you kind of would like that, though. Like, that's, yeah, yeah, I, I, like it. I, I like it now. It right. just confused me then. Yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's an acquired taste. Yeah, yeah, you get used yeah. to it. Um, yeah, but what's nice about this is, you know, again, it's, it's, it's my background as a teacher, so right. it combines my own teaching background, but with all these comedian friends that I've become great friends with over the years, uh, it was all kind of do-it-yourself. We did a Kickstarter. Kickstarter, I remember, yeah. We raised the money. Yeah, uh, I, I pledged over a dollar. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you put us over the top. So yeah, that's it. right. You were at 49999 and I went, okay Dang. then. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Well, Ted, it's lovely to see you. Uh, congratulations. I'm glad that you got your leg problem worked out. Yeah, you know, that's, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's how I get around. All right. Ted Alexander, everybody. Everybody.